Shalom Aleikum, Mishpachah. All glory and praises to the Creator, Yuhei Wafei, and His most humble Son, Yuhei Wafei, Bet Nun Sophie, Yuhei Wafei, Yahweh Ben Yahweh. Welcome back to the channel, family. Today's topics is three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Now, I know we read that scripture for years, but <clears throat> To have a truly understanding of what that scripture actually really means. Three days and three nights in the heart of our earth. We're going to break that down. And see the true meaning behind the secret keys of that verse. According to Matthew chapter 12 verse 40. And it reads. For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the whale's belly. So shall the son of man be. Three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. But well, we want to dive into that, family. What that really means. Three days and three nights. First of all, to get an understanding of that, you must know the time frame and what it's talking about. Who is the Son of Man? The Son of Man is the whole house of Israel as a whole. In particular, Yahweh being Yahweh is the Son. Israel as a whole is a son, meaning a part of the son. Right? So let's get that understanding of what that really means as it relates to the son. Yahweh being Yahweh is the first begotten. Israel and Judah also is a son as the seed of the creator, Yahweh. Right? So, like I say, you have to know the time frame. Now, from the time of Adam, and all the way up until the time of Moses, you're looking at it roughly around 3,000 years. All right? Now, this is where a calculation of the time frame come in as it relates to the Hebrew solar calendar. From Adam, all the way up until the, the children of Israel exodus out of Egypt, was roughly 3,000 years. All right? That's the time frame. And you have to understand that calendar as it relates to that. Now, we're going to read a little bit off into the Son of Man, three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Okay, we are presented with a lot of cryptic meaning concerning Adam's 6,000 years in deep sleep. The roadmap to interpreting the correct understanding is to understand the symbols used in. For example, Matthew 12, 40 tells us that when they asked for a sign, they were told that the only sign was given was Jonah. And Jonah was three days in the belly's well for three days and three nights. So shall the Son of Man be. The Son of Man of us is a whole. Be in the heart of the earth for three days and three nights. Now remember, we are dealing with Adam's 6,000 years deep sleep. The first 3,000 years is Jonah in the well's belly. Exodus chapter 30, I mean Ezekiel chapter 32, verse 2, tells us that Pharaoh, Egypt, is the well, symbolically as Babylon here in America. We are talking about the time from the Garden of Eden to the Exodus. Notice, Jonah chapter 2, verse 2, tells us that the belly, which equals hell, which is a condition. The rest of Ezekiel chapter 32 Verse 3 through 32 outlines that very well. Now the Son of Man, which is us, will also be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Heart is used as a metonym. What is a metonym? Right? A metonym is a word, name, or expression used by as a substitute for something else which is closely associated. For example, the term Washington, D.C., right? And you hear that term. It's used for the federal government. That's a metonym. All right? Now, the inner part, the grave, also is a condition. Now, Jonah, three days in Plus, the Son of Man, three days, equals 
six days, or roughly 6,000 years. The Son of Man, three days equals 3,000 years, started with the Exodus, beginning of Israel, sacrifices. Exodus chapter 3, verse 18. Now, to understand Israel's purpose, it is the be is best stated in Exodus chapter 19, verse, 50, verse 5 through 6. Exodus chapter 19, verse 5 through 6. Now, family, understand this very well as it concerns the three days and three nights, right? From, Mo from Adam up into Moses, it's roughly 3,000 years. And from Moses up until this very day, it's another 3,000 years. So we're at roughly at the third day. I'm at the 6,000, the sixth day, right? Which is the 6,000 years. One day, it's like a thousand years. And one, a thousand years is like a day unto the creator you ate warfare. So understand that well, right? We understand, we'll go in more in depth in with the calendar and understanding how you calculate time at a later time. But right now, I'm just giving you a rough instrument a brief understanding of the three days and three nights in the heart of the earth right now the three days was turned into three and a half days because a half day a half a day which equals 500 years was added when they rebelled when the children of israel rebelled in the wilderness yahweh rejected that generation and cast israel off until 1 Kings chapter 6, verse 1. We are dealing with the temple, which is a people that Solomon built, not a physical building. Although they later went back to sleep, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 4. But that was, but that is what is mentioned in Revelation chapter 11, verse 7 through 11. Talking about the three and a half days, meaning 3,500 years, right? From the Exodus until now, the two witnesses is a symbol for Israel and Judah, who bears Yahweh's name to the world and wrote the Bible. This is our testimony to the world that we are the only people that ever represented the creator, Yuhei Wafe. So family, I'm going to stop there right there because this here is a lengthy, uh, in-depth study. And like I said, I'm just giving you the rough draft of it right now. A brief rough draft of it. But it goes very, very in-depth with this study. And you have to understand the Hebrew calendar and how you calculate time from the Bible all the way up until this very day. And you will come up with the year of 6024 in exact time. And that is counting all the kings of, from Adam all the way up until the, uh, all the kings of Judah. Not the kings of Israel, but all the kings of Judah. So we're going to stop that right there, and we're going to go in more depth in a later on time in part two of this. So family, don't forget to like and subscribe. Praise Yahweh and praise Yahweh. Ben Yahweh. Shalom Aleichem and Aniyahov.